not Philip Reeves, I'm Emily Harris, but we drew straws and I'm the lucky one. But um, I do want to just start by saying this is such a team effort. Um, Philip Reeves, Deb Amos, and Ivan Watson are three of my colleagues who are with me today. There's others who, of course, couldn't be here, Ann Garrels, people who are in Baghdad right now, Peter Kenyon and Tom Bullock. Um, this is a team effort beyond just the correspondents you hear on the air, the producers um, who are both in Baghdad and in Washington, um, show editors, editors. We couldn't do any of this without our foreign editor, Lauren Jenkins, who not only makes sure we have everything we need in Baghdad, which is quite a lot, but also came himself twice in the past year and a half, bringing wonderful things like pate and chocolate, as well as encouragement and support. Um, further up the chain, our managing editor, Barbara Reem, and the people at the very top of NPR who control the budget and who, who've seen fit to give us enough money to do what we need to do so far safely. Um, and of course, our editor, Doug Roberts, who edits all of the pieces almost that come out of Iraq and is tireless and fierce and quite a pleasure to work with. Um, also our Iraqi staff, we could simply not do what we do without our Iraqi staff, who face grave dangers every day, don't leave as we do, um, and are of course not only trying to help us report on this country, but watching their country go through tremendous and very, very difficult times. Um, and also our families who hate to see us go to Iraq, but understand, as we do, um, the value of continuing to follow this story, um, and we will be continuing to follow it for a number of years to come. Um, it's a very important story with not only the billions of dollars spent, but lives lost, injured, changed, and we really appreciate the Peabody Board for recognizing the value of sticking with this story. Thank you very much.